Okay, okay. And tea, coffee. So I can just help myself, right? And how long you said you live in Thailand? 58 years. 58 years, and you are a Thai citizen now, right? I don't need to be a Thai citizen because the Australian government and the Thai government have a, an agreement if you're married to, legally to a Thai. Uh, then you get a permanent residence or something. I see. I see, I see. Hot water is in here, no? Okay, all right. This place looks like a museum. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> it's the old mining... <laughs> mining uh, yeah, it's a, it's a <laughs> history, yeah. Is this your family on the picture? No, I know. Uh, okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, have only one son. Yeah, where is he now? He's, he's in Bangkok in um, banking sector of oh no insurance sector of SCB. Okay. SCB. He comes often to visit you here. He can. He's overseas. Of his. Oh, okay. He moves he has, around a lot. He has. Yeah. He has to go to uh, Germany very often and uh, Britain. <laughs> And you live here all by yourself? Uh, employees. Yeah. Employees, yeah. Those are the Burmese people who lost yeah. the job yeah. after the tin after price tin went tin down, tin right? Tin yeah. Tin okay. tin Amazing. Actually, I found out about your place here just two weeks ago on internet uh -huh. by accident. <laughs> and then I have read the, the history of this place, history of your family. And I decided I gotta come here. Thank you, thank you. So my motorcycle is down there in Itong. They told me do not come with motorcycle up here, it's dangerous. <laughs> yeah. And the road looks really, yeah. really bad. <laughs> and uh, I understand this is a homestay, right? Like a guest house, right? Where are the rooms? At the front. Oh, these, two, uh huh. Four and four. And how much do you charge for them? Uh, on a weekday, uh, 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 one thousand five hundred. Uh, uh, okay. So two days and one night. Uh, uh, okay. And inside, at uh, on the at the water's edge, uh, at the water's edge, mm -hmm. uh, and at the hillside on the hillside on the hillside. Okay. How many rooms in total you got? Uh, we can accommodate. 38 people. 38 people. Mm. Okay, now there's last question. There's a problem. You see, I come from far away, Phuket, and I, I wanted to stay here overnight, but I couldn't make a booking. I couldn't contact anyone. Oh, there's no one in... How, how do we do that? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm sure sometimes you're full, right? On weekends or long weekends. Yeah. But weekdays... Very quiet. So let's say I, I have a friends who are coming down from South or even from Malaysia mm -hmm. or Singapore and they want to stay at this place. Um, how do they book the room? I'll give you the booking number. <laughs> uh, is that Kun Charlie? Yes. yes. But he, he speaks only Thai. Uh, he doesn't speak any uh, English. Right. I spoke to him and he didn't understand <laughs> the, the word I say. Oh, that's right. <laughs> because I have very, very few overseas guests. Normally, Normally they they come with the tour company okay. and they heard about the place so they come with the tour company and they just stay here. <laughs> uh, you know how I found out about your place? Thanks to the foreigners who wrote a little beautiful story on the internet about it. And uh, uh, they, they said everything about you, how, how you got married in Australia with Kun Somsak, how he died and how this place started. My husband yeah. graduated mining engineer. Yeah. In my hometown, Kalgoorlie, Western Australia. Western Australia. Kalgoorlie produces the world's highest gold rate. Yeah? Mm. Mm. Until today, it's like that. Mm. From the gold mine to the tin mine. <laughs> what the place, huh? Tea, coffee, cake, help yourself. I will, definitely. <laughs>